Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea or Ceres? Ceres? As I thought. I'm glad you went with her. I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. Talk to Triss. Reconvening the Lodge? It's not going so well. Dangerous times. Especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out. And I can't blame them. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Triss and I found her and freed her. It turned out Dijkstra had her, but the situation's under control. That's a relief. So, gonna tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenfurt. I also learned the identity of the man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Abbe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! Best run and get him. These humans for a while to buy the day! What's he doing here? Watch where you're going, eh? you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs, leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. no, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me? No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, oh, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic, they'll, they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs, rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day, the wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays, when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? No, not officially, but you know how it is. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, oh, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they'd learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they drop the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, 
You're as free as a fish. So you played dead. No one caught on? As a youth, I'd apprentice with an apothecary in Silverton. Learned a thing or two about herbs. Sleeping mushrooms grew on the walls of my cell. And I found Belladonna in the prison yard. Just had to mash them together and eat the pulp an hour before evening rounds. You might have lost your life. I prefer to die on my own terms were that to be my fate. So theoretically we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What now? What our friend said about the guards was interesting. Drinking on duty? Zoltan could make sure they have plenty of hooch. Good idea. I'll search for the entrance to the ruins. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Something unusual. Zoltan? Get out! They're holding Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakamut as you can find and drive it to Oxenfurt. Yennefer will give the signal. They'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mage has left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf flinging around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Find a way in? Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novigrad's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Here we are. This is it. Hmm. Boldu was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. See you inside, then. Good luck. Wet clothes. Oh, joy. <laughs> Tomb Raider. Seems this one liked Elven stuff. Wall looks brittle. in here.
idea. Shit, just stop! Get him from both sides! Getting you out of here. It's pointless. He'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back. Ah! Get it from both sides! That's enough of that. Enough of that. When I get my hands on those whoresons, I'll gladly help, if I live to see it. I must take her from here, immediately. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go. the notice? I did indeed. Hands of Sidaris, mercenary captain. 
Know of a monster that needs slaying. You interested? What kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got rid of it to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks. And I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were gonna tell me about the monster. Yes. Yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatchers cows and the like. Reckon we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Henk the other. Gerd and Henk never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a professional, clearly. So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where we last saw Gerd and Henk alive. Claw marks, bite marks, armor ripped to shreds. Human. No sign of another corpse. Mm -hmm. Flying monster. Gripped the second body in its claws. Didn't quite get everything to its nest. Piece by piece, follow the thread. Tracks end here. Damn birds must have picked the ground clean. But they've already found the rest of the corpse, probably. All I gotta do is follow the cawing. Thin rakeides. Sparse after Fedor's griffin. Interesting. progress monsters dead I slew it it was a griffin an arch griffin in fact in that case I'm grateful arch grateful your reward thank you and in the future try summoning a witcher before any blood spilt look what I picked up artifact compression someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine intend to decompress of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. I think it's a soldier. We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try it. I think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. In Alan, Dwana, Ar Ais. No! Carl, no! I, I can explain everything! <coughs> Coral? I never looked at the last. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A, a delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him, just like her. 
If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, Succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. I've got another figurine. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes, be quiet and try not to disturb me. In Allen, Dwana, our ice. Verder! And the Kelter! Who are you? What am I doing here? It's a bond. <laughs> Who are you? What's the last thing you remember? I remember a hill. A battle. I had orders for a unit. I remember a sorceress. Her hair like flames. She cast a spell. The right flank was to attack. Hit the shield bearers. The right flank didn't attack. And the sorceress was Lita Nade, known also as Coral. I was there too. This... This happened long ago. Shh. You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke. You're a long way from Ophir. A long way, and with dangers fraught. But in our homeland, they say, in risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown, and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore. Virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have. For of my home I could speak until your ears withered and your legs failed you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak and tribes that know no monarchs yet remembering myth, a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes, a town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy, of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But 
About these last, you should my friend interrogate, for one among them is he, Irun Wright. I'll make it a point to talk to him. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. Fiery mares may be swift as the wind, not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. A contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, roach? Ha! Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time when love brought together the skies and the steppe. And from their union was born, the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew. And she let them saddle her. Warriors they became, and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? Our craftsman's goods. You see worth in them? Quite a bit, I'd say. Ah, these are nothing compared to what I could offer had I not lost my prize diagrams. How'd you lose them? Two thieves. In our travels, I and my companions surprise attacked by local ruffians were. The diagrams, their loss. I bemoan not so much as I do one of my comrades. Killed in the violence. Sounds like a real loss. Sorry. I might have been more cautious. Should you encounter the diagrams, return them, and thankful I shall be. Duplicates I will make, with markings your craftsmen understand. A gift for you. I'll keep that in mind. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. some. 
Bloody fight, looks like. Folk in the tavern didn't stand a chance. Tracks lead north. Trail's gone cold. Mm -hmm. Need to look around. See if I can pick it up again. Someone was wounded. Started bleeding heavily. Wonder what this means. Hmm. Took a traveler hostage, I guess. Blood trails the hostages. Must have been a burden if they left him here to die. Lost the trail. Gotta look around for something else. Found it. Leads this way. Trail ends here. Hmm. Dirt and ground cover concealing a hatch. Secret passageway? It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Managed to recover all your diagrams. Ah, want to be relied on. This I knew. You restore the faith I might have in men. For I've now received aid from a stranger in even this land most barbarous. Don't mention it. Really. As agreed. I shall draft your duplicates, though it may take a day. Be so kind as to return the morrow. Your reward I will have for you. All right. Tomorrow, then. Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? That it? No other weeds or brews? Aye. One to make your hair grow. Another to do the opposite. An easer of pain, a calmer of heartburn. Tell me what ails you. Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Hear about the contract. Whew, a taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I'm anxious, is all. 
been so long without any what? <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the Dead White Wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fibre, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. Got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. A light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. So long. Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Blood. Dried. A few days old. gone cold. Need to look around. Ask. Maybe someone's seen him. Jude! Shut up now! We've company. What's brought you to these parts, Master? Lost your way? No, looking for someone. Ah, do tell. Perhaps we can help. What is this place, exactly? A village. Plain to see. Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work. And the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Looking for someone named Fulkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard owling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. You're looking, but it's too old to go tramping about in the woods. So long. Blood stains, months old. Hmm. Rotting meat. Light-haired halfling. Must be Fulkert. Ripped open, gutted, and drained. 
No way to determine the cause of death. Been to your larder. Meat-rich diet. That what you like? Master. Not at all. Tain't like that. Best hope not, or you'll be next to get a hook through your neck. The wolves killed him. Him and the others. We but gather the bodies. That's the truth. We're old and frail. We've no strength to plow or sow. But we gotta eat. I pity, master. Folks say we witchers have no feelings. It's a barefaced lie. Right now, I feel rage, and I can't wait to vent. <sighs> Humans. Hey there. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. He was... Uh, really no gentle way to put this. Cannibals ate him. Cannibals? A short ride from Novigrad. In Velen, that would be one thing, but... But here... Gods! You slew them, right? Tell me, you killed them! I did. He's been avenged. There's that. Uh, your coin. Take it and... And now please, be on your way. I must write to Falkert's parents. <laughs> 